Hi, Mark Reedy here. In this video, I'm going to show you real quickly how to use the all work orders list by work order number report. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to click on reports, more reports. We're going to go to report type work orders. And then we're going to go down to the one called all work orders list by work order number. And we can just click preview there if we want to see all the work orders for the entire fleet for every date range. Or you can specify a specific date range. Um, I'm going to just choose a specific vehicle to look at in this case. Look at this one here. And so we can see here that we've got these columns, uh, work order ID number, the equipment number, reference number, who requested it, the date it was requested, the date it was supposed to be completed by, the actual completed date, the kilometer or miles that it was uh, completed at, or the hours meter reading that it was completed at. And over here we have the short descriptions. This is not any of the labor or the parts, just the short descriptions uh, in the work order itself. And then we have the total cost for the work order over here. Now, if we go to the end of this report for this piece of equipment, each that for this uh, selection here, for this particular piece of equipment, we have a total uh, cost of uh, 33626 and 40 cents. And so that is how you choose that report. Now you could also do, if I go back here, if I wanted to look at a specific date range, uh, you can see this date is a little older from 2015. Here's some 2019 stuff. So if we wanted to see everything from say, February 2019, we could do that. So if I go over here to the completed date, and go 02-01-2019 through 02-28 uh, uh, 2019 and we'll go preview and so now we can see all of the work orders it looks like it's just one page here uh, for February of 2019 and we see our grand total down there now we can do the same thing and just leave the equipment number out and go ahead and preview that and so now we can see we're starting with this piece of first piece of equipment here is this T0506 uh, and what this does when you don't choose a piece of equipment it's actually going to show all of the equipment it's not going to group it by equipment it's going to show every single work order in that date range all right so it's going to show us all the equipment that was worked on and uh, and then if we go to the end this is 25 pages here i could just scroll through this and we could see all the work orders that were done uh, during that date range in february 2019 we go to the end of the report and we can see the total work order costs for february 2019 here 31,423 and 58 cents and then we can also choose to restrict it or use criteria or specific work order number range, uh, requested date range, or reference numbers if you wanted to do that. All right, hopefully that helps, and thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Take care.